Hello everyone, Bree here from Glow De V. Happy Monday, hope everyone had a great weekend. Just wanted to talk to you guys really quick about why it's important to maintain a healthy sleep schedule during quarantine. Um, so in this time of necessary quarantine, it's important to uphold a vital function of our healthy sleep schedules. So sleep empowers an effective and healthy immune system, a solid night's rest strengthens our body's defenses. Um, how has this disrupted our daily life? Um, social distancing, school closures, business closures, and working from home has all made changes to our daily normal routines. Um, since most of us are not on a strict schedule anymore, we may of course be tempted to oversleep in the morning and go to bed much later at night. Sleeping more than eight hours or napping during the day can actually make waking up on time much, much more difficult when our lives decide to resume. Um, sleep heightens brain function. Our mind works better when we get good sleep. And sleep, of course, enhances our positive mood. So the lack of sleep can make a person irritable and drag down our energy levels drastically. Um, you should also only be reserving your bed for sleep and sleep only. It's important to associate your bedroom as a place for sleeping, um, not the place you work from or watch prolonged TV or, of course, binge watch Netflix. Um, this will help you to relax and prepare for sleeping. Um, electronic devices should also not be in the bedroom when it comes to sleeping. They do emit all artificial light, which can influence your sleep cycle. If you do need your electronic devices at night for emergency purposes, place them in night mode. Um, we should also be substituting our stress for relaxation techniques instead. So deep breathing, stretching, yoga, meditation, calming music, and reading are just a few ideas that you can build into your normal routine to help with your relaxation every day. Um, so your solution, how you can remain on a healthy sleep schedule, is to just plan on only eight hours of sleep a night. So if you are used to being in bed by a certain hour when you were working um, normal hours, so if you're used to being in bed by 9 or 10 o'clock at night and being asleep, you should resume that during quarantine as well. And then if you're used to being awake at 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, to still be resuming that as well. For when you do decide to go back to work and we are all, when we're all able to do so, it will be a lot easier to adjust back to your old routine. Um, of course, exercising plays an important factor. You should always be getting your body moving and staying active and enjoying the outdoors. So those of us that are working from home, we're able to bring our laptops outside on the front porch, on a picnic table, um, outside somewhere just to enjoy the fresh air and, of course, the natural sunlight. Um, another thing that we should be doing is um, reducing our caffeine intake. So we should only drink caffeine before noon because, um, of course, caffeine is a natural stimulant. It should... It does influence our sleep, and then, of course, that does make us stay awake later at night. If you do have to have coffee every day, such as myself, I am a coffee lover, um, make sure you limit yourself to uh, one to two cups of coffee in the morning, and make sure you stop when it hits noon. Um, and although it's still uncertain what life will look like after quarantine has ended, one thing for certain is that we can look after our sleep pattern. If we're able to do so during this time, we may leave quarantine feeling a little less fatigued and maybe a little bit more productive. Um, hope this video has helped you guys with some tips. Of course, more videos coming soon. Stay tuned for our live webinar with Ms. Emily tomorrow, and we will be talking to you guys very, very soon. Um, just make sure you're maintaining your healthy sleep schedule and, of course, staying safe and healthy during this time. Have a great day, everyone.